so yes, there is, uh, but it comes down to if you can control SNI in your application is the is the the very brief answer. Uh, effectively, so th this boils down to how does Istio identify traffic that's coming in? There's, uh, in general, for TCP traffic, we only have the IP address and, uh, for, and, and the port, right? The, so we have that tuple and, that's, and, and so that's all that we have to work with. Therefore, uh, we need separate ports to be able to identify separate external services easily. If you set SNI in your, if you use TLS to talk to the, to the egress gateway and you set SNI on that outbound, uh, then we can use that. Uh, as well, and that would actually give you kind of an L7, not quite, but that would at least give us a name that we can back into a service to be able to do connection level load balancing out. Yeah, I wonder if that's actually, I haven't checked if that's easily set up today with egress gateways. We can set up like it is not things on the same port and rely on TLS SNI to do that. Uh, so I've actually, we've actually hit this with, with some of our uh, customers and the answer today is it's a giant pain in the butt and you need a very specific incantation of configuration on the client side and on the egress gateway side to make it work gracefully. Uh, in this, and I'll point out, this gets even more complicated. Uh, one of the more common use cases for an egress gateway is for credential exchange. I want an external credential, like an, a mutual TLS cert for an external service to live on my egress gateway and not on my pods. Uh, and so if you have this identity mapping where you have your egress gateway that is using certs locally to do outbound connections, there's an additional uh, security concern that you have here uh, if you have different certs. Uh, and if, so you need to be really careful how you configure the setup and how you configure your off policies to avoid your egress gateway being a confused entity. All right, and I'm not sure if you covered this in, in your answers, but for egress gateway, can there be a pass-through cluster? Yes. Uh, I believe, yeah, uh, and uh, that's a install time configuration, I believe. Uh, there's just a global config that says uh, allow unknown or not. And if you allow unknown, that will work even at the egress. Okay. 